No, basically we had, uh, after five years, there was an important exam, after eight and then graduation. So, like after five years you had to play uh, uh, Mozart or Beethoven Sonata, some etude by Czerny, um, mm. scales, romantic and Chinese century pieces. It was the same for the eighth year examination, plus to the 23 etudes by Clementi. And that, that, that was great because I think Clementi wrote, I mean, for, for the technique before, before going on with Chopin, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And uh, well, I. I I think Clementi is much underestimated. Sure. They, they, they think Clementi was great just as a, a piano teacher or for writing etudes, or, but yeah, as Horowitz proved with yes. his recordings, he was such tremendously beautiful. Even, even, even the etudes are remarkable. Yes. Yeah, There's one, in, you know, the one in Fadies Minor, which sounds like Rachmaninoff credit. I don't know that etude. You know, because he wrote a hundred and we, Everybody had to practice the same 23. You couldn't choose how to work on it. <coughs> so oh. there was a, a collection of 23 etudes. So from Tausig, edited by Tausig, I think. And everybody had to work on that. And, uh, yeah, then in the end, the, the, the graduating exam was the easiest because of, it was like playing a recital program of an hour. And when we would play the Bach for the interview? That was two years before, yeah. Um, then you had to, to work on 24, and if you 12 for the first and 12 on the second. That, I think that was too much. Because now I just played the first book and they were all like new to me. I, I, didn't, I didn't do a good job when I was a student put back. It's impossible when you have to learn 24. So many. You just okay. play and without. And who was your teacher in Venice? Um, Gino Gorini. Uh, in Argentina, I think he was not because there was this famous piano duo, Lorenzi Gorini. Gorini Lorenzi. Ah, yes. Lorenzi was very much known. Yeah, yes. yeah. Ah. Okay. Yes, yeah, Lorenzi did several master classes. The, 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 the conservatory in Venice is spectacular. I don't know if you've ever been there. Yeah, I've been to Venice, but never And a wonderful, magnificent palazzo mm. with race course, with everything, and yeah. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Palazzo Pisani, very near the Academia Bridge. It's lovely situation. Yeah. And after you, uh, you met Maria Tipo in Geneva? Or? I met Maria Tipo when I was 13 because she was on the jury of the Alfred Cortot International Piano Competition, where I won first prize. It was, uh, yeah, for, for young students, it was com competition uh, with two categories, up to 16 and from 16 to 20, so I won the juniores. And, uh, and my father asked her if she, if he would have taken me as a pupil, and she said no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, I think it was because uh, at the final concert of the competition, I played very, very bad, as it often happens. Oh. Uh, like, uh, so I think she, she thought I was not um, uh, flighty of Deutsch, we said, um, that, that I wasn't the kind of, of boy that 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 like practicing, okay? So. <laughs> but uh, I was very nervous and, you know, because after winning a competition then you think it's over and then for the final concert you play sometimes very bad. <laughs> and I don't know if it was because, because of that, but uh, she said no, but the, he has to to get his diploma first and then, and then we, we, we talk again. So then you did study yeah. later with her? Yes, after, just immediately after graduating. And, um, it was beautiful, but also very difficult at the beginning, because it was something totally new to me. I had to start again from scales, which was very good <laughs> for me. And um, 
Yeah, she, she you know, she, she can be very mean. Uh, so she never, like she never yells at, at somebody. Mm -hmm. Always very calm. But she can tell you the most horrible things. <laughs> <laughs> Should we compare notes about our teachers, what horrible things they say? <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, well, officially four years in Geneva, but then I continued a few years. And as you know, when, when I have something important coming up or something I'm not so sure about, like this Bach project, I, I like to play Bach for her. I think we always need somebody. Yes. That, uh, it's so difficult to be objective about ourselves. You know? yeah, especially if you have somebody that you trust very much. Yes. And their opinion, that can be very wonderful. Yeah, somebody who knows you, who knows your potential, or also your limits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all have limits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, she's wonderful also as a, as a teacher. Maybe it was not like that at the beginning, but it couldn't have been like that. Um, later on, for example, I remember when I when I played for her a Clementi Sonata, the famous F sharp minor, and then I played, uh, and she said, "No, but the first movement that much too slow. Don't do like me because I play that very slowly for the recording. But you are young. That's <laughs> that's you have so she is flexible. She is flexible. You wouldn't think she is, mm -hmm. but she's she has such." Uh, open views, uh, really. I, I, as I told you, it was not like that at the beginning, but maybe it's better at the beginning when when you still don't have a, the, the, a macho personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how was the boy the lessons at the beginning? Also with this kind of big repertorio, or not? It, it, it was difficult at the beginning also because I couldn't understand what she wanted. I mean, it was so much different from what I was used to that I was very skeptical <laughs> one year. And then, well, little by little I learned that it was good to, to, to follow her advices. And But in the beginning, it was more limiting, trying to set the borders a little bit more, or how, how was trying, it? Yeah, yeah, trying to set the borders, yeah. I needed those borders. We all, we all need it. Because I, I was coming from a period where I had much too freedom, let's say. So, yeah. 